Hi, it's Rich here. I'm going to give you a quick tour around Trello for your EDCI 336 class and show you some of the features that will be important for you to know about and learn how to do. So first off, on the inquiry topic and question column, if we click on the card, it'll open up and you can see here it, it prompts you to replace that text with your free inquiry topic as well as questions. And to edit it, you simply click on the edit button and then you can uh, delete what's here, type in TikTok, but go into more detail here about what your question is around TikTok and then what some of your sub-questions are. So flesh it out a little bit with a bit more detail. There's also links here to some guides to help you. Uh, this one uh, is more for your free inquiry, uh, so you can ask your question what do you need to deepen the inquiry and add new questions? So add some sub questions. Anyways, working through this handout can be really useful to help round out your inquiry and figure out exactly what shape your inquiry is going to take going forward. This other one is just a high level view of the inquiry steps, and it's a good a good thing to review if you're still wrapping your mind about what in, an inquiry looks like at the university level as well as at the high school level. So. I will close this card by clicking on the X. And in the to-do list, we'll look at the competencies checklist. And you can see all the competencies. If you, as you uh, cover them off, I'd click them off. So most of you have probably already covered off privacy and safety. Um, we've already covered intellectual property, for example. So you can check those off, off as you go. The other thing you can do as you start checking them off Move it from the to-do column, just drag and drop it onto the doing column. Uh, and then you can keep checking them off there, just to help visually keep track of what you need to start on and what you're working on. Uh, and then uh, you can drag things in the done column when they're done. Next one here is review inquiry. Again, these are just the same two links as in the other one, but just as a reminder that there are resources available to help you. You can always ask me as well, of course. And over here, is the comment to instructor. So you can always send a comment to me and you do that by making a comment below, hello, and then you just put at RMCC and it'll prompt you over here and you can click at it. Uh, just want some feedback. And then you can hit save and I'll be notified that you've made a comment there for me. I'll just delete that for now though. Um, so this is just a, a sample Trello board that you can click on here to look at. Uh, just for inspiration, here's what it looks like. Again, just to model what happens. Let's say I've reviewed it, I've got some ideas out of it. Once I'm done, I can just drag it and drop it in the done column. So, oops, I'll put it back here. This is something to help you keep track of your free inquiry progress. So click on these check boxes as you go, as you do your blog post week by week. The other one here is uh, your weekly reflections on your techno, your competencies in class, whether it be ed tech tool or pedagogical competencies. Again, you just check those off and it just helps you keep track of where you are. If you miss a week for some reason, it'll help you know when you need to catch back up. Uh, so yeah, so that's it. If you wanted to add a new card, you just slip, uh, simply click on add new card put a, a title here, click add, and then you can go in and you can add checklists, uh, you can add uh, attachments. Those are the main things you'll be doing, or uh, as well as putting in a description there of what you want. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna delete this because I don't need it here, but there you go. That's Trello for EDCI 336. If you have any questions, please contact me directly.